My name's Brandon and this is my review of the New Balance 1080 version 10. The 1080 is a juggernaut of the Max Cushion running shoe universe. It's one of the most popular running shoes on the road and the flagship New Balance shoe, so it gets all the shiny bells and whistles. Version 10 has been reworked from the ground up with a new outsole, midsole and upper. A new fresh foam called Fresh Foam X makes version 10 the softest version to date, while the knitted upper also makes a debut. The 1080 V10's upper is a masterpiece. There's not one single thing I would change about it. It's hands down the best upper I've ever experienced on a shoe. It's made of a soft, stretchy knit called Hypo Knit, which I prefer to both Adidas Prime Knit and Nike Fly Knit. It has a structured heel counter that holds the heel in place without irritating the Achilles because it flares away from the foot, unlike on the New Balance Propel. The toe box is roomy and will stretch if you have extra wide feet. The padded tongue is soft, filled with medium amounts of foam and is partially gusseted, meaning it's attached to the sides of the upper via a band on either side. This ensures that there's no tongue slide. There is reflective trace fiber stitching on the midfoot to provide some lightweight structure and double last row eyelets so that you can do heel lock lacing for a snugger fit. Fresh Foam X feels soft to the touch but isn't soft underfoot. New Balance still has a lot of work to do because compared to Nike Zoom X and Reeboks Float Ride, it's not as soft or bouncy. I was a bit disappointed after my first run in the 1080 V10s. The shoes felt a lot firmer than I expected them to feel. They felt very similar to New Balance's Beacon but with rubber lugs on the outsole, making the ride firmer. The ride of the 1080 V10 does feel lively and responsive, unlike the Fresh Foams of yesteryear. The Fresh Foam X midsole provides a firm platform for a toe-off which results in a snappy ride. Transitions are smooth from the heel to the midfoot, but as soon as you get up onto your forefoot you can feel the segmented lug outsole. The blown rubber outsole consists of five separate lug sections. It's not full contact because there's an area under the midfoot which is not covered by rubber to save weight. The protruding blown rubber lugs are not very durable and I could see abrasions on the outer heel area after just the first run. The wear is not evenly spread because the outsole is not flat. The area in the middle that's not covered by rubber will show the most wear over time. Overall, the 1080 V10 is a solid trainer, but one can't help feeling that the 1080's superb upper is let down by its too responsive midsole. If I was responsible for designing the 1080 V10, I would have put the 1080 V10's upper on the New Balance Propel's soft fuel cell midsole. The 1080 V10 is a great all-round shoe and is very well made. You can take it on long weekend or daily runs or short tempo workouts. However, the 1080 is supposed to be the softest, plushest shoe in the New Balance arsenal. But it's not. That honor goes to the New Balance Fuel Cell Propel. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the review, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.